Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to compare two mid-range phones the Lenovo K6 Note with the Coolpad Note 5. So these two phones are priced uh, below the 15k pricing in India and there are lots of similarities between these two devices and they also differ in various other aspects. So in this uh, detailed comparison, so we'll have a look at uh, the features, the software performance, uh, the battery and also the camera performance of these two phones and decide which is the better device to buy in this price segment. So without any further delay, let's get started with a comparison. So first up, let's see the design and build quality. So you can see that both these devices are really good in terms of the design and build quality. They uh, feel pretty premium and good looking device with a metallic uh, unibody chassis uh, with a matte finish rear panel and also the camera unit and the fingerprint sensor looks quite identical except for the placing of the LED flash. Since both the devices are really good looking and uh, also a uh, well built phone, we would uh, leave it to our viewers to decide which is the better device to buy here now uh, we have uh, three capacity touch buttons on uh, both the devices and uh, they're not backlit on either of them and uh, in, in terms of the size we would say uh, the Lenovo K6 Note is slightly smaller than the uh, Coolpad Note 5 but not much of a difference here both are equally good in terms of design and build quality and does the job pretty well so that's the design and build quality aspect of these two phones now talking about the display so here we have a 5.5 inches full HD display on both the phones and both the devices are really good in terms of display resolution, uh, uh, viewing angles and also uh, both are really good uh, in terms of uh, the touch response. But uh, the Coolpad Cool1 display looks slightly better than the Lenovo's K6 Note. Uh, obviously there is not much of difference to choose but then uh, uh, our choice uh, would be the Coolpad uh, Note 5 display. Now let's talk about the software and the performance. So first of software, both the phones run Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box and they have custom UIs. So first let's talk about the custom UI of the Lenovo uh, K6 Note. So this comes with YBI which has this uh, uh, look uh, similar to the stock like Android. So we have an app drawer in this device and you can see it lo looks uh, slightly uh, uh, similar to the stock like experience. So we have the settings panel which is exactly the same as we find on uh, the Android, Android uh, stock Android UI. And uh, we have some additional features included like quick snap, knock light, smart scene, wide touch, uh, fingerprint snap. There is also support for VR mode, a dual app profile that means you can run different instances of the WhatsApp, WeChat etc. And uh, some other additional gestures are also included. And uh, this uh, UI definitely looks quite decent and uh, you can also customize the notification center and quick toggles. So it is definitely one of the decent UIs available and there is also support for themes where you can download some themes. In fact there is no option to download themes but uh, there are some themes included in this UIs and you can customize uh, uh, with the available themes. So it's a quite decent UI overall, uh, but it's not a really a highly feature rich UI, but does the job pretty well. Now talking about the Coolpad Note 5, we have the Cool UI 8.0 and this is uh, sim quite similar to the MIUI in terms of the UI look and feel. We have multiple home screens devoid of an app drawer and in the settings you can see uh, it is again a customized settings panel and uh, we have additional features like dual apps, uh, control center is there, you can just swipe from the bottom to access the cube toggle. So it's kind of different uh, layout and uh, you also have some additional gesture support uh, like smart control, uh, C button is also included. And and there is also support for a cool manager which allows you to optimize the device and uh, there is also mm, some support for themes and uh, fingerprint scanner gestures are also included you can see some uh, fingerprint gestures are included in this device so it is a feature rich UI uh, definitely has a lot of features additional options included and support for themes is also there you can download additional themes as well but it's not as polished as a MIUI but if you're looking for more features instead of uh, the stock like UI uh, you would be better off choosing the Coolpad Note 5 because it, it provides a lot of additional features and options for customization. So that is the software aspect of these two phones. Now talking about the performance. So here we have two different processors, the Snapdragon 430 on the Lenovo K6 Note coupled with 3 gigs of RAM or even 4 gigs of RAM variant is available. While on the other hand, Coolpad Cool uh, Note 5 uh, is uh, powered by the Snapdragon 617 Octa-Core chipset coupled with 4 gigs of RAM. Now both these devices are quite good in terms of day-to-day -day experience and we never had any issues in terms of lag or uh, uh, other issues while opening apps or uh, in day to day experience we would say the snapdragon 430 is slightly superior to the snapdragon 617 uh, even though uh, 
uh, it is the 400 series which is where uh, the cool pad note 5 has a 600 series snapdragon chipset but the 617 is quite old while the 430 is quite recent one so in terms of the performance both are equally good and when you compare the gaming experience again both are quite average uh, gaming devices out there not uh, not a uh, really great device for gaming but does the job pretty well in terms of the performance now looking at the benchmark score you can see that uh, both are equally good and decent performing chipset in this price category and the benchmark scores are almost similar uh, the snapdragon 430 is slightly ahead of the snapdragon 617 in terms of the benchmark scores so both the devices have 32 gigs of storage, uh, uh, 4G LTE and voltage support and dual sim cards with a hybrid sim card option so that's the uh, software and performance uh, so there's no clear winner in terms of software and performance so we would leave it to your viewers to decide uh, which software they want whether they want a stock ui then go for uh, lenovo's k6 note if you want customizations go for coolpad note 5 now talking about uh, the fingerprint scanner both are uh, located on the rear panel and does the job pretty well and uh, they can uh, be used for uh, taking photos as well and uh, additionally on the cool pad note 5 there, there there is support for additional gestures on the fingerprint scanner now let's talk about the camera so we have a 16 megapixel shooter on the lenovo k6 note while it's a 13 megapixel shooter on the cool pad note 5 and we have dual tone dual led flash and a single led flash on the cool pad note 5 and on the front panel we have an 8 megapixel camera on both the phones and we have an led flash on the front facing camera for the cool pad note 5 now looking at the camera interface uh, both these devices offer a decent amount of options uh, and uh, there is also support for pro mode slow motion fast motion is also included there is artistic hdr and here we have night mode so overall the camera interface uh, looks quite good on both the phones and uh, uh, do offer decent amount of options as well now looking at the camera samples taken between these two devices we could say that both are equally good uh, and performing cameras in this price again uh, neither of them are really class leading in terms of the camera performance but they are above average cameras and does the job pretty well the uh, problem with the k6 node is uh, that it can uh, it can be uh, a bit uh, saturated images on the k6 node and the exposure is not really spot on on the k6 node but definitely k6 node is a, a good device and uh, comes with above average cameras similar to the cool pad note 5 so cameras are almost similar in both the devices as soon there's no clear winner in terms of the camera performance now additionally we have a front facing selfie flash on the cool pad note 5 which helps in taking uh, low light selfies now finally talking about the battery performance so we have a 4000 mAh battery on both these devices and they are non removable batteries and uh, uh, we could say that the cam battery performance is really good on both the phones and they are equally good in terms of the battery experience and you can easily get through one and a half days of usage with uh, heavy or moderate usage so battery won't be an issue on either of these devices now we have talked about almost all aspects about these two phones so where does uh, uh, the lenovo k6 note have an edge so lenovo k6 note has a slightly superior uh, the snapdragon 430 and the software is more like stock android and really good battery life along with superior build quality now the uh, coolpad note 5 has a really good customizable software display is also uh, good then uh, you also have a really good uh, battery life coupled with a slightly better camera than the lenovo k6 note so uh, you can uh, uh, see that there is not much of difference between these two phones except for the pricing. The Coolpad Note 5 is priced 11,000 for the 4GB RAM variant while it's 14,000 on the Lenovo K6 Note for the 3GB RAM variant. So definitely there is a 3K difference between these two devices. So if you are a person on a tight budget, definitely the Coolpad Note 5 would be the better choice. And you can also save 3K on the Coolpad Note 5 and you don't have to compromise uh, much on the Coolpad Note 5. So definitely uh, the value for money device would be the cool pad Note 5 but uh, the Lenovo K6 Note is not a bad performer it also comes with a, a good all round package so the pricing is a key uh, aspect in market like India so that's where the cool pad Note 5 wins but again uh, uh, Lenovo's K6 Note is available offline that would be a big uh, difference for a lot of users uh, because uh, they don't have to buy online they can go to the store and buy the buy it so that's the advantage for the Lenovo K6 Note. So that's all guys with the comparison of these two phones. So hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.